It's fly day and today for all you small still water anglers out there, here's a special fly. It is the cast whisker bun bun. Bung fishing is quite controversial, but so many people fish it, and good luck to you. If you like it, fish it. Uh, this is just a bug that sits under the bung. I'm using floss just because I want to build up the pattern quickly or build up the body. But in the end, we've got stretchy floss. All right, make them same length. All right, so the same length there. Bit fiddly what you can do is just cut them the same length right we want a good tail right so best way to do it do it bigger and then you can cut down if it's too short then you're never going to be cutting it you can't add on so put that onto the top and then we'll just put a few locking turns in place And the great thing is you can stretch it as far as you want. All right, that's just slipped a bit. We'll just there. And then you've got those two tails coming off the back end. Now, we're just going to chase this up the body. It just bulks it up a little bit, saves you actually having to tight so much floss up so get it right up to the eye because we're going to build and build and build this fly right get that there pull it really really tight snip it off and then start building and this is why we use the floss because it's much thicker than tying thread we want a really, really tapered, chunky bit coming all the way up towards the eye. So we'll go back down now. Sometimes we'll just spin the floss, let it loosen up. So it goes on a little bit flatter. Go all the way back down. Now, we'll chase this tail now. So it just goes around the bend that little bit. So it's pointing down like that. And then just keep building. If you just start in flight time, this is such an easy pattern because it's all you're doing is just wrapping this floss round and round and round I'm using a red bead and uh, could use a chartreuse bead but if you're using a chartreuse bead I would put a bit of contrast and put a collar do it in this color but then just put a collar behind the bead there's just that little trigger point but this way that bead is the trigger point When you think it's chunky enough, keep going. You're giving them a gobful. And then what you do to finish this fly off properly is just coat it all in varnish. Now, when you're out fishing, if you keep getting takes or what we call false takes, because what they're doing, they're pulling on the legs underneath. Simple and easy, trim the legs off. Right, now then, just whip finish. And then, up to you if you want to use UV curing, such as bug bond. That will do it quicker. Or, just get your varnish two or three coats so it becomes really really smooth and there you go the bug or the bung bug with that little tail if I just hold that up what you will find when it's hanging underneath like this the fish can play about with the tails so if you get a lot of the bung going underneath 
and you strike and there's nothing there, just trim these tails off a little bit. Bung bug, do them in different colors, different variations. You can change the color of this as well. You can change the color of the bead, the body, just keep changing them. And when you're fishing, change and change the color till you find out which color the fish want on that particular day. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed that flight. If you did, tell your mates so they can enjoy it as well. And don't forget, we've got loads more videos here on our YouTube channel covering all different types of flies. We've got guest tires like that superstar Matthew Pate. Also, if you tie your own flies, do me a favor, send us a picture. You can post it on our Facebook page, HM Fly Fishing. You can also follow us on Twitter, HM Fly Fishing. And guess what? We're doing some stuff live as well on Periscope. See you again.